Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and you're here at the Curly Q Scrapper uh, YouTube channel. I have some uh, layouts to share with you for the 30 days of sketches for days 20 through 26 today. So let's go ahead and get started. I will have the playlist um, uh, linked in the description. There's a ton of us that are creating uh, for the 30 days of sketches. And um, just know that you can, um, for sure, this is the 11th round of the 30 days of sketches where every day during um, certain months, it's usually a couple of months a year in March and September, where we uh, get a prompt of a sketch and we create something with it. Um, so for this one, this is, let me just make sure you can see it there. It's Stephanie Olson. This is the day 20 sketch. And so you'll see on here that the orientation of the photo is horizontal. And um, it looks like a little picture frame. Um, so the beautiful thing about sketches, if you haven't worked with them before, or if you have, is if you're struggling to find a particular sketch, is just to go ahead and just flip it all around and see if anything appeals to you. So for the sake of my layout, I just went through my non-collection um, paper for Christmas because I did have this cute Christmas picture and um, my photo was uh oriented vertically so right away i knew that i was going to have to flip it right and so i took the inspiration of the floral clusters to put one in each corner and then i did do a little bit here as well but not as much um this is pretty self-explanatory so i don't feel like i needed to add a whole lot of journaling i may just go ahead I did forget to put the year here, but I know what year this is. So, um, but yeah, that's day number 20. Here is the sketch for day 21. And this is a sketch by Deborah Adler Hunt. Very, very cute sketch. I love this one. And I had this one picture. I knew I had already a pre-printed three by four photo. And I thought, you know what? I don't have very much of this um, simple vintage lakeside collection, which by the way, I love. Um, I wish now, I kind of wish I would have gotten more, but um, the papers that I do have um, had some cut aparts, which was perfect that's where i got the idea i didn't do i just uh i didn't do the flags down here to anchor them but i think it's fine the way it is i did other i i did embellish in other ways i kept the title over here i kept these chevrons i just punched out um out of a strip that i had laying around using my uh one of my punches um and then i'm gonna do the journaling here before i put this away so there is that one. Um, this is a sketch by Allison uh, Crossgard, and this is for day 22. Very beautiful sketch as well. I am using um, what's new to me. This is the Felicity Jane Aspen collection. Um, everything is from the collection except for these. I, I did these with... Um, some dies that I have. Um, I, I had this paper already in my stash. I just went through my pink, found something, because this is a die cut from the collection. Um, these are just my alphas, and I just used that same paper to chronicle the date. Um, but everything else is from the Aspen collection. So there is, there's that one. <clears throat> here is uh day 23 this is a sketch by dana terry and i use this but i used i brought everything kind of more in so that everything was overlapping to some degree um this um was from one of the few winter collections that I do have. This was part of a kit that I received from a virtual online crop that I did. Um, 
And so you'll see that I do have some stickers that are popped up here, some I think that I fussy cut, some additional stickers, and then some jewels that came in that kit. And then my obviously my journaling will go there. Here is a day 24, and this is a sketch by Kim Johnson Martin. Oh, another. I'm a fan of sketches can you tell like i love this sketch so much i went and uh, because i don't have a circle cutter i did pull out my cricut and went to town so i had this these papers left over from something else and when i have um things like that i i usually try to if they match and they go together i try to kit them together and keep them um sometimes where I have my uh, page kits kind of ready to go. This was one of them. So I took it right from there. I already, this is a pre-printed picture that I just kind of went through my uh, photos as I was making my kits. Um, and everything else is from my stash. The tags, the, uh, the embellishments here, um, the labels, again, all of these like little, little, little things here are all part of my stash. This one was super fun. Ooh. All right, so this is day 25. I stretched this sketch and this is by Scrappy Adam Westwood. And this is where my inspiration came from. It's not exactly this way, but you'll see. You'll see the inspiration. Let me just see if you can see the sketch there. I actually stretched the sketch. Did I mention that? Um, and I made this a two pager. And let me just make sure you can see. I chronicled, I think this might be only the second time, maybe the first time about my love for this band and i have had this collection it is um the bella boulevard addison collection i've had it forever i remember we got this as a gift from one of the crops we attended um me and my uh my my group of um uh friends and family where we used to go to crops uh in person all the time and this was one of the gifts that we received right but it had just been sitting sitting and sitting and sitting and i never really had uh they were really bold colors bella boulevard is known for their their bold bold colors so i really took um i was working with some full sheets but definitely some um cut aparts and um some scraps which is sometimes the favorite way that i um that i like to scrap so what i ended up doing i didn't do this looks like mixed media i didn't end up doing the mixed media but i took the lead from how the photos were right the photos were and it's in both they kind of mimic each other and i kind of like that look uh obviously the overlaps the uh journaling um I did, instead of doing the stars, I did music notes and hearts um, just because it is, the journaling really is about how much I've loved this band, um, my first album, um, their induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Um, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's it's near and dear to my heart so i was so happy because i was trying to think like i need i'm gonna need a collection that has a lot of you know something to do with music music notes but this was this was perfect and there's there's so much um a lot of the photos have a uh, vibrancy to them so there's a lot of color except for maybe these two um that i really like that aspect of this particular this particular collection for for my love of my boys okay and this is a sketch number 26 and this is by wendy gail rasmussen um this was another one i did with my cricket and um 
I had, um, I still had some of these papers. This is from a paper collection with the stickers, but I had this in my stash of dog papers. So that, my friends, are sketches 20 through 26. I hope that you have enjoyed seeing all of the sketches and that you get a little inspiration from any one of these to try out yourselves. And I hope that you will come back and see what I have left here um, are going to be sketches number 27 through 30. All right, until next time, bye for now. Thank you so much for watching.